Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And I just found out this morning that Chelsea Lifts might not be able to lift anymore. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skill in my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. And this is going to show how much you guys remember older school YouTube fitness. It's going to show your history here because uh, Chelsea and I did some collab work I want to say like five years ago, four or five years ago. Uh, I was actually living abroad in the UK when we did that. Um, and I'm really kind of shocked to hear about uh, her, her back issues and the fact that she may not be able to lift because that really, really sucks. Now, I haven't talked to her in a few years, uh, so I haven't really kept up with what she's doing. But we did do some collab work early on. I remember when I was somewhat new to YouTube. I think I'd only been on YouTube a year or two, maybe tops. And she had come on the scene pretty new, and we were in some similar circles, um, like on Facebook groups and stuff. And she was starting out, and I remember chatting with her. And no, before you guys asked, no, there was nothing flirtatious. She was in a relationship. She was, you know, already with somebody, and I was with somebody. So no, I didn't flirt with her or anything like that. It was purely just uh, trying to help her out. Because she was really new to the YouTube game, and she was really dealing with a lot of the, the BS that girls are going to have to deal with. Like when a woman puts themselves on YouTube, uh, she was being harassed just for being a woman in the fitness game, even though she was all not wearing revealing clothing, she wasn't wearing makeup, um, she was still being harassed by dudes like and insulted and attacked and all that and she was gonna quit uh, she was almost like fed up with it and I remember kind of talking to her about that and saying hey uh, you know I think YouTube fitness needs you no don't you shouldn't quit just you know don't worry about it don't let any of it get to you um, you know what you're you're a woman who lifts heavy you have a undergrad in a relevant field uh, to fitness and everything and you actually have a lot to say I don't think you should quit you're you're an athlete who's competed in multiple endeavors you have a lot of experience even though you're pretty young and you're strong you lift heavy uh, no you need to stay on here and you know it, it'll be fine don't worry about it just deal with it and she did because I know she was it kind of getting miffed at it and, and she just kind of looked like at that point I'm sure a few of us talked to her about it and I remember she just kind of started coming into her own after that you know she started putting out more videos and not worrying about it and then later when she started putting makeup on just a little bit of makeup we did some collab work and we, I joked if we did a, some back and forth of me calling her a fake daddy for wearing uh, you know fake makeup on there and saying that maybe she was putting makeup on her delts and everything to give him that 3d look and that was totally fake and uh, you know we went through all that it was just kind of fun it was a little bit of collab work just for some entertainment for me to because I was really doing the fake natty thing back then a lot and talking about fake natties a lot more and <laughs> she was trying to improve her outreach and it was just a good fun project and everyone had a little bit of fun with it and both of our channels grew from there and I didn't really I don't think I really talked to her much after that uh, but it was again all done in good fun and then we fast forward to the day and I mean her channel's grown she's got over a hundred thousand subscribers now these days doesn't make a lot of videos, but uh, it looks like she has been experiencing a lot of pain, like in her middle back. And it turns out she's got an injury there, and she may not be able to do any real upper body lifts anymore. Um, and she's, you know, working with specialists and everything. And that's that's really sucks if that's the case. And obviously, uh, there are people in there giving her advice and telling her things like, well, you know, you should go see a chiropractor, you should do this. It's like, guys, y'all need to let the specialist handle this. I mean, she can deal with different specialists. She can work with people and figure out what her best treatment options are. Um, but yeah, I mean, I genuinely hope she does have a specialist who will work with her and help her to not have these problems. In other words, find a way around it. Maybe there's something they can do to fix the situation, but I mean, she said it has gotten worse and worse and worse and to where she, she's been told she may not be able to do any lifts that affect the upper body anymore. And a lot of people would say, well, hey, I mean, you could still do lower body, you could squat. Well, no, I mean, if it's, if it's a mid-back issue, squats and deadlifts are going to be out. Like, she's looking at possible just leg machines might be what she's stuck doing. Um, and I really, really hate to see that if that's the case because you have someone who has been an athlete who's competed in multiple things uh, and she's done powerlifting and she's a strong chick, got good genetics for strength and muscle and everything. And I really, really hate to see that happen. Um, and I think it's very unfortunate. It looks like she's taking it very well. She's taking it very, very well. Um, and. Uh, 
that's a good thing. So, I mean, she's got a really good attitude towards it, and I like to see that. I'm happy to see that. Um, but, you know, the, here's the thing that just that really sucks about that if it knocks her a little bit out of the fitness game on here. Um, you know, YouTube fitness is largely dominated by men. They don't have enough uh, female role models on there. They don't have them. It's a largely male audience. Uh, it's mostly men doing it. Some of the women who do bother to come on, it's almost what we call titty jiggle fitness. You know, it's not actual serious fitness for women. You know, a lot of it is just... Um, you know, just stuff for men to enjoy for the most part. Or it's women who, when they do come on, they just teach total fluff nonsense. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, if they're just coming on here teaching Zumba or teaching you to do half squats in the air, like air squats that are only even half reps on top of that, you know, we see all that sort of nonsense. And we don't see women coming on here who are promoting real training. And a lot of guys are going to say, well, I don't care about real training. Why does it matter for women? You know, um, I, I, why does it matter? Say, so, well, because you probably have women you care about in your life. And I would say to you guys out there who are taking that attitude, you plan on staying single forever? No. You're going to probably want to be with someone. Well, if you train seriously, you maybe you want to be with a partner who takes their health and fitness seriously and trains. It might be in your best interest. You know, what are you going to be healthy and fit and be with someone who's not? And there's so much misinformation out there uh, with women that it's it's actually it's improving a lot but there's still that tendency for for women to not train correctly uh due to all the social stigma and everything else it's improving dramatically but it's people like chelsea who are helping change that stereotype and that they're helping and if you don't think this matters even if you're not worried about being with someone i guarantee you you have a mother maybe a sister grandmothers aunts there are women in your life who you care about, guys. I can promise you there are women in your life who you care about. When we start looking at all these diseases out there, that actual serious training, getting under an actual barbell, doing real resistance work, all the stuff that it helps with are oftentimes the things that are the, the killers of women. You know, And it's stuff that you should be worried about with your own mother. A lot of you younger guys who are laughing at this, uh, think about your mother. I promise you, you guys might have your certain views on women if you're one of these younger guys. But you don't feel that way about your mother. And you know what? There's a real good chance your mother one day is going to deal with uh, possibly cancer of the ovaries, breast cancer, cervical cancer. You know what? Have you guys seen the data on resistance training with helping these things? It's enormous. It's enormous. Uh, what about other things? Women tend to suffer once they go through menopause, uh, osteoporosis, hip fractures. All this stuff is a major problem. Do you understand what, what getting your mother under a heavy barbell and getting her squatting, do you understand it will do to improve her quality of life and longevity? You need to think about these women who are in your life, guys, and think about the, all the benefits of training and looking at stuff like their osteoporosis, uh, the, the cancers and stuff that women get that are specific to them, all right, uh, Alzheimer's. Start looking at leg strength. The studies on cognition, Alzheimer's, memory, all that stuff as we get older. Look at the data on that and leg strength. Uh, it, the best thing you could possibly do for the women that you care about in your family or who you love. You know, it doesn't even have to be a partner. I mean, you should care about your partner for sure. But when you start looking at the women you care about in your life, getting them under a, a barbell and getting them to actually squat is one of the best things they could possibly do for their long-term quality of life. And when you have people like Chelsea up here who are promoting that, she is a strong woman, um, doesn't look super jacked like on a ton of gear and everything, like a lot of the women out there who, who give the negative stereotypes. She has an actual relevant degree in the field. She's a good trainer. She's strong, promotes the squat, promotes the deadlift. You know, you want women like this out here putting out their message. You need women like that to use as an example. So when you have someone like Chelsea who, you know, has an actual a, a problem and an injury in her back that could take her out of the fitness game to some extent, that's not a good thing. The whole this It isn't just her that suffers for that. Um, you know, she could has the potential to be a very powerful voice for women in fitness, you know, with her own outreach on YouTube. She's got a lot of potential for that. And so for her to not be able to lift, uh, it isn't just her that's affected. Obviously, that's, that's a bad thing if it's, she's affected. But, you know, her outreach could be affected, you know, and that's bad for everyone. That's bad for everyone. 
And I think it's very unfortunate. I wish her the best. And I hope that she's able to work through this and I hope that she's able to recover. I'm glad that she has a good attitude about it right now. But, you know, I honestly really hope and I'm going to pray for the fact that maybe she is able to train again, that she gets recovery, she finds the right doctors, uh, because I, I don't want to see her taken out of the game. You know, I don't want to see that. Uh, because, again, she has a very positive, powerful message out there for women. Uh, and it just sucks if, if she's not going to be able to do squats and deadlifts and things anymore. All right, guys. But that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.